Hello, this is Michael Hartle, author of the Ruby on Rails tutorial, which teaches web development using the Ruby on Rails web development framework. This is a special sample screencast showing you what you get when you buy the full Rails tutorial screencast series. In this screencast, we're going to take this page, which is an, a blank signup page, and turn it into a working signup form, as mocked up here. The Rails tutorial uses test-driven development to develop the sample application. So our first step is to write a test. In this context, it's a good idea to run the full test suite first, so let's do that. All right, that verifies that we're green. That is to say, the test suite is passing. So now let's write a failing test. We'll be using RSpec to describe the behavior of our application. So what we want to do first is uh, say that we're going to describe signup. Now before submitting form information, we need to visit the signup page, which we can write like this. Visit the signup path. And then we want to fill in the form with valid information. So let's describe sign up with valid information. And before submitting the form, we need to fill in this information. Fill in the name field with the valid name. So let's just say with example user. Fill in email. With a valid email address, let's say uh, user at example.com. Fill in the password field, the valid password. Just do foobar. Fill in the confirmation with the same password. So, what do we expect will happen here? Well, when we submit the form, it should create a new user. That is to say, it should change the number of the users in the database by one. We can write that in our spec as follows. Expect click button. And we're going to uh, click the uh, submit button, which is in this case called create my account. That's a little long, so let's create an auxiliary variable for it. I'm going to let submit be the text in the submit button. Create my account. So click button submit. And what this should do, this we expect this to change the user count by one. So in our spec we write dot two change user count by one. And we actually have to wrap this in what's called an it block, so let's do that it should create a user. Let's put this in here. And now let's run this test. So we've got a failure. We can look up here and see what the failure is. So as you might expect, it simply can't find the right field to fill in, and that's because uh, it's not there yet. So, but at this point, we've got a failing test. Once we get this test to pass, we ought to have a working form. Let's take a look at the current state of the page. The signup page is at uh, new.html.erb in the users directory. Right now, it's just provide title, sign up, and then a top level heading. So it produces this page. Our first step is to make a form for accepting uh, user signup data. We'll start by making a couple of HTML divisions, or divs. This is mainly for styling. These classes have special meaning for the bootstrap framework, which is what the Rails tutorial uses for the styling. And now we'll use the form for method provided by Rails to create a form for making a new user.
Your f is the form itself. And we're going to use that f variable to make labels and fields for everything in the mockup. Name, email, password, and confirmation. Hit escape there, by the way, to autocomplete text field. So both the name and email address are text fields. Uh, the password and its confirmation should be password fields. And then we need a submit button with uh, the text create my account. And we'll give this uh, a few CSS classes. Now we need to tell Rails that this is the end of the form. And let's close off these divs. And at this point, we can rerun our test. It's still red, it's still failing. Oh, and it's telling us that there's actually a missing variable in the test, which you might have noticed when I typed it. This should be submit. Let's rerun that. And now it says that it's missing a template. Action view missing template. Which, in fact, is what happens. If we reload this, we see that we have the form, but if we click on create my account, it says the template is missing. And that's because what's happening here is that Rails is going into the user's controller and it's hitting this create action. When, when we submit the form, it's going to create. And by default, it's looking for a template corresponding to create, but there is no template. There is no web page corresponding to this create action. So if we fill in this create action with the right code, then we should have a working signup form. The first step is to make a new user, so user.new, and we're going to use the params hash that Rails uses to pass around form parameters. And then we'll try to save this user to the database. If we can save the user, if at user.save, then we're going to redirect to the user's profile page, which we can do using the shorthand redirect to at user. Else, if the save doesn't succeed, then we want to re-render the signup page, which is just the new action. Let's save that and rerun our test. And look at that, now we're green. One example, zero failures, which means that we've just created a working signup form. Let's try it out. And there we go. If you'd like to learn how to build the full sample application, you can buy the full screencast series at realstutorial.org slash screencasts.